his own power. So he began to say, he said, look, and we know it's a scripture that says that no man knows the day nor the hour, not by uh, not the son of man, but his father only. You know, not the angels or the son of man, but his father only. Proving further that they two separate beings. So how is that? They're the same being, but he, he doesn't even know what time he's supposed to come back. He can tell his own self. That's stupid. He says, um, but you shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in, Ju in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. So the gospel, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness and then shall the end come. So the end is not going to come until the truth is, is, is uh, published among all the nations. But why? Because Israel is scattered among all of the nations. No? Uh, so I'm going to read, uh, well, you can read it. Well, you got out of this. You don't have that. And I want also 7 Corinthians 10. No, 15. About to go up. We should be changed. Yeah. But we can read the. Go that one. Go that one in Thessalonians. Yeah, we're going to wrap it up. Go that one in Thessalonians. No, it's not. We should be in Thessalonians. Get my hands in my. For behold, the Lord will come with fire right. and his chariots like a whirlwind mm -hmm. to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Right. Just like we read in uh, what we've been reading, preceding scripture. So it's twofold. It's going to be deliverance and destruction at the same time. But who's going to be getting delivered? The Israelites, the elect, is going to be getting delivered. But everybody else is going to be getting destroyed. Now that don't mean there ain't going to be no people on the planet. But all the nations going to lie in ruin. The nuclear missiles going to be in the hit chair is going to destroy all your idols, you know, they're going to destroy everything and they're going to be taking up the church of Israel, the elect of the church of Israel. You wicked Israelites, you're going to be getting destroyed. Right. Yeah, right. You're going to be definitely getting them sodomites. For by fire and by his sword, right. with the Lord flee with all flesh. Right. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. Right. The slain of the Lord shall be many. No. Now, man, that's pretty much it on that. Now, this is Amos 9. Uh, so the Lord going to come with chair with his chariot and fire, or with fire in his chariot like a whirlwind, to render his anger and rebuke. He's going to be good, man. Okay. Yeah, he's going to read this one. Yeah, yeah, read this one. So right now, while we delivering this word, you know, we trying to get, we, we trying, uh, through the terror of the Lord, we trying to persuade men, we persuade men, you know. We're trying to get people to understand, man. Like you guys, EJ loved him said on the comment board, we want people to, to get away from you or to know to stay away from you guys. But that's fine with us. Stay away from us. We only looking for the elect anyway. We don't want nobody else bothering us other than the elect. The possible or the hopefully elect. Amos 9 and 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom. Right, the most high angels and him that watches everything. Go ahead. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Right. The field is the world, but that that uh that great fire is gonna come and it's gonna burn a portion of that field. America, Babylon the Great. Go ahead. Saying that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, says the Lord. Right. You might need to be read. The elect is gonna get saved, you know. Now people that shall be found written in the book, even at that time shall they be delivered. Read that again. That's your point. Okay, saying that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, right. the Lord. I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. Go ahead. For Lord, I will command, I will sift the house of Israel among all nations. is going from place to place, gathering up the elect. Go ahead. Like as corn is sifted in the seed, mm -hmm. yet shall so not the least grain fall upon the earth. And that's what we read in John 10. Them that are in my hand shall no man pluck out. You know, them that my father gave me. They, they, my sheep and my voice, and they follow me. And we prove who it was that follow him. Revelation 14 and 4. You know, they follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. The elect. Go ahead. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Which, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Right. 
which say the evil should not overtake nor prevent us. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. So when the chariots come, they will all get burned up. I will leave you there and melt you. Okay? We got one more. Let's see. First Thessalonians 4, verse 15. For this we said to you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord right. shall not prevent them which are asleep. Now so-called Christians will read this and they'll say we. See it says we which are alive and remain. What are they talking about you? you no, know? because the Thessalonians were who? Israelites that were living among the Thessalonians. Yep. From Thessalonica or Thessalonica. How you want to, you know, you want to say that? And it says, For the Lord himself shall descend with heaven from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel, archangel and with the trump of the Most High. Mm -hmm. And the dead in Yahushai shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. Now we read that in Matthew 24. Then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And he going to gather together his elect. And we read Isaiah 40, uh, 45 and Isaiah 65 and Isaiah 42 I think it was. All said the elect come from Israel. You can't get around that. If you, if you die doing the work of the Lord, you gonna get caught up first. Right. If you become a mortal for the Lord, you gonna get caught up first. Okay. And that's why I said, then we, we which are alive, means us the elect that's still here on the earth, going through the tribulation, yep. right? Um, remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. And we gonna be on the chariots with them. Yep. And it also says in the, in the book of Second Esdras, I think it is, it says there are, uh, there are some of you that shall never taste of death, you know? And the Savior also said, I, said, I think in the book of John, uh, if I want him to live until I come again, what is that to you? So it's gonna be men that never die from the, from the foundation of the earth. Yeah. It says, to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. The same we, the elect, so shall we ever be with the Lord, right. the elect will come from the house of Israel only. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Right, comfort one another with these words. How, how, how hard are not these words comforting? None, we can be delivered by the Lord out of this bed, mm -hmm. out of the tribulations of the world. And these, word, these words from the scriptures should comfort our people. Right. And yet our people what? They don't want to hear it. Hey, we have piped them to them, but they have not danced. Right. You know, they don't want to hear this new song. They might keep listening to Uzi Burke, yeah. who's all these little knuckleheads around 21 Savage, but they don't want to hear the song of the Lord. You know, that's why the scriptures say, uh, with the knowledge should be the stability of that time, man. This is what's going to keep you sane with all this stuff going down. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to read that. Ezekiel 33. And, uh, This is the only thing that's gonna, gonna keep you afloat on that day, mentally, man. Mentally and physically. Yeah, if, you, if you're seeking after this, man, the Lord's gonna, the Lord's gonna make sure you uh you hit him that day. Right. So this is Ezekiel 33 and verse 30. It says, Also thou son of man, the children of thy, thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses, and speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you and hear what is the word that cometh forth from the Lord. And they come unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy word, but they will not do this. For with their mouth they show much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice, and can play well on an instrument. For they hear thy words, but they do them not. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come, then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. Right. And they go right along with what the brother said. We piped unto them and they have not danced. Yep. We harped and they, and they have not lamented. All right, come on, bro. come on. You want, you want, I don't know if you have that scripture. Don't worry about it. So that's it, we, we freezing, you know. I don't know if y'all can see in the background, it's been lightly snowing the whole time. Right now, I think it's stopped. We, hey, we, we freezing, it's really cold. But we ain't gonna, you know, Stay here and try to be over righteous, man. So we're gonna go in. We'll be back next week, Lord willing. All praise to the Most High. Yahweh, Ba Shem, Yahweh Shah. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. No respect to the brothers teaching the truth all over the earth. We'll see you next week. Lord willing. Shalom. Shalom.
Yeah, the freezer one. Woo. Cameras and stuff all wet. Damn, stuck. Can't even get it. Yeah, it's bitter cold out here.